This is your NBC 26 News Update. I'm Caroline Hogan. A hazmat situation is now resolved in Fond du Lac this morning. Fire and rescue crews were at Milk Specialties on Tompkins Street for nearly six hours yesterday trying to stop a gas leak. A number of residents and employees were evacuated from that area. According to Fond du Lac Fire, freight trains moving past Milk Specialties were backed up all the way down to New Orleans. Sometimes if they get too close, they can inhale uh, a toxic uh, fumes like that, and it could, you know, could be deadly. No one was hurt in the incident, and the cause of death is, or rather, the cause of this is still under investigation. And the Bucks are getting ready for another game tonight after defeating the Boston Celtics last night and taking over second place in the Eastern Conference. The Bucks left Pfizer Forum with this big win, 127 to 121. They're playing in Detroit against the Pistons, who sit 14th in the Eastern Conference. Happy Friday to you. I'm meteorologist Brittany Merlot. I wish I had better news, but unfortunately, we're still stuck in that colder air. 17 out of the last 18 have been below our average high temperatures. April has not started off strong whatsoever. Only Wednesday was above average. And now this morning, we're about five degrees cooler than yesterday morning. Go figure. It looks like winter out there. White snow, yes, out on the grassy areas and near freezing temperatures below freezing into the north woods. Plus, you have the winds on top of that sustained up to 15 miles per hour gusting into the mid 20s it makes it feel like the teens to the low 20s outside so bundle up stay warm drive safe scattered snow showers expected on and off throughout the day today light drizzle along the lake shore right now this system will move on out tonight so we still have to deal with this all day today. Highs hitting 38 degrees. And then as we go into this weekend, we'll start to see some warmer temperatures as these winds start to ease up on us and switch to out of the south 